thank you all, and I'm delighted to be here, and I want to talk about great expectations for a community of like-minded people who come together because of the liveliness of their minds and not the aging of their bodies. I think that this is a whole new stream for why we are building communities, and I'm not talking bricks and mortar, I'm talking about communities as a whole. And I'm not going to talk about the boomers, because I don't think we're going to see them for quite some time. I'm talking about us, me, the silent generation, who are looking for something very different from what our parents looked for. My mother's retirement community is not mine. And it won't see, my mother's retirement community will not see me at their door. We want to look for things that are unexpected. We want to be challenged. We want to have reasons for getting up in the morning that are stimulating and fun, and not just our wonderful dining program. We want to explore the unknown. It's a time to live. It's a time to have a whole new life. It's a fun. I'm almost 78, and I'm having more fun now. Well, not quite, but I'm having a lot of fun now. <laughs> And, and the, one of the problems with retirement is there's nothing unexpected. Everything is routine. Everything is just the way it always was yesterday and the way it will be tomorrow. Why get up tomorrow? We want to expand our spirituality. We are on a journey, the last part of the journey of our lives, and we want that part to be growing just like the rest of us. So if we're working out, we want to work out here and here too. We don't want to just sit and be told what to do. We don't want to be bystanders that listen. We want to be participants to grow. I say don't look at your competitors. Don't look at inside yourself. Don't look at you, what you were doing. Look at the market that's coming, the silence, the ones who led the peace demonstrations and their boomer children followed. The people who stood for civil rights and social justice, they were the movers and the shakers. We don't want to be isolated. We don't want to be put out to pasture. We don't want to sit there and watch other people do wonderful things and clap at them when they're finished. We don't want that. So you better think fast and you better think well because you won't be around when the boomers get here. I, why do I say this? Because we do market research, and my idea of market research comes out of community organization, which may or may not be a good word. Um, so we ask older people what they want, and they tell us. And they say things like, it's so sterile. It's so boring. If you've ever had lunch in an assisted living facility, you know what they mean. It's quiet. How do you like this, boomers? You're all sitting around over the age of 55, and it, all you're doing is waiting to die. Make you feel like, that's how you look at me? That's how they look at you. Um, we have so many uh, different attitudes. Some people want upscale and gracious, I'm here to take care of me. Other people say, I want something unpretentious, I want to take care of my, you help me take care of myself. And a very few of them have a new young husband, but there may be a lot of young have young wives. Um, interested in cultural and educational community. I'm not being segregated from the world. How can we integrate ages in, a, a, in the lifestyle? Um, people who want to continue, this person was a composer, how do you continue what's been your life all your life? What if you want to show a protest flag? I, it's, you can't even put anything on your balcony except a geranium, can you imagine? <laughs> How receptive are you to gay people and couples? People are looking for intellect. This is, these are direct quotes from a whole variety. And I could keep you going forever on some of these quotes. Um, this is an interesting one about choice, <laughs> following the other fellow. Um, and, couples and how they will lead a very different kind of life and want to and they don't want you to structure their life they want to structure their own life so tell me how you can help me do that the food i love this one the food is unhealthy and tasteless and i have to say after lunch yesterday i went out and had two lipitors to <laughs> so it's a new world it's a new world of expectations You'd better deal with us before you try to deal with my daughter and her generation in the front row. And one of those pictures, by the way, was 
a lady at Never Too Late, and she, who, where she is doing some wonderful stuff. So I invite you over to our booth. It's GSI, and I thank you very much for your time. I really enjoyed being with you. Thank you.